Hi everyone, welcome to another question for MRCS exam. A 63 years old man is undergoing a coronary artery bypass procedure during the median sternotomy, which structure would routinely require division. So here, uh, a 63 years old man is undergoing coronary artery bypass procedure. It's okay during the median sternotomy, which structure is routinely required to divide. So during the sternotomy, the structure we have to uh, cut mandatory and which of this structure. So here the options. The options are parietal pleura, interclavicular ligament, internal mammary artery, brachiocephalic vein, and left vagus nerve. So we have to find out one of the options uh, which uh, is divided routinely during mid sternotomy. So first of all, uh, in this picture we can see the sternotomy, mid sternotomy picture. Uh, uh, it is done um, at the midline, it started at the jugular nose of the manubrium sternum of the sternum, and it descends down, down, and up to the geoid process or from the jugular nose of manubrium sternum of the sternum and it descend down or it may be like this so it is that these two pictures are the mid sternotomy picture so we have to see in this incision which structure we have to cut mandatory and here is the median sternotomy picture here we can see it uh, this incision is started from this point from the jugular nose of the sternum and it descend down and here uh, most common thoracic incision it is median sternotomy for better view for a better field then it is done during cardiac operation anterior mediastinal lesion or bilateral lung procedure so for a big area for better view uh, during the anterior mediastinal lesion or bilateral lung procedure and cardiac procedure, median sternotomy done. Speed in operation, operating and closing. And in, uh, if, uh, as it is in the midline, at, uh, it gives proper space, it gives more space. So, speed of opening and uh, closing is easy. Then supine position and arm in the uh, patient side. It is done by supine position and patient arm lies on the patient side. Here we can see the uh, structure here. And in the jugular nerves we can see a ligament present and this is interclavicular ligament because this ligament connects the right and left clavicle to this jugular nerves of the sternum. So, during the sternotomy, mid sternotomy, the when incision is uh, given to this line, so uh, this have to be cut. So, interclavicular ligament must have to cut to uh, perform the mid sternotomy incision. Uh, so, for this, uh, the interclavicular ligament must have to uh, cut. Uh, here, uh, we can see a median is, uh, stern, uh, sternotomy is the commonest incision utilized to access the heart and great vessels and usually it is done and for this procedure interclavicular ligament is cut. So our final answer here the interclavicular ligament the interclavicular ligament must have to cut during mid sternotomy operation parietal pleura parietal pleura usually uh, lies um, in the uh, covers the lung so sometimes it uh, um, uh, need not uh, to uh, cut uh, then internal memory artery which lies on the either side of the uh, sternum um, uh, and behind the costal uh, cartilage uh, so uh, there is no chance of injury to the internal cavity artery then brachiocephalic artery brachiocephalic artery it lies in the upper part close to the neck and it away from the uh, uh, from the uh, midline and usually uh, it is not cut and brachiocephalic vein it is a large vein so uh, the surgeon uh, is very careful to avoid uh, the injury to the brachiocephalic vein then uh, usually at this uh, especially the left vagus nerve left vagus nerve lies more deep 
so there is no chance of injury so our final answer is interclavicular ligament and this ligament must have to cut during the uh, operation routinely uh, of um, when the incision is given of mid sternotomy thank you